Hello and welcome to the shop. I have a really fun turn for you today. I think you're going to enjoy it. Uh, in an effort to save time, I'm going to skip straight to the lathe and start turning. So if you're interested in knowing how I prepared this blank, it is an Alumalite blank. I'm going to put a link in the comments below to a acrylic style blank preparation video which shows all of the steps that I take to prepare any blanks that are non-wood for turning on my lathe. With that being said, come on in, let's head over to the lathe and I'll show you what we got. The blank I'll be turning today was sent to me by Ron Rosilio. It is an Alumalite blank containing a tube wrapped in the Second Amendment to the United States Constitution. This blank was designed for a bolt action magnum kit uses a 10 millimeter drill bit. I purchased this kit at Penn State. It is PKCP7520 and it uses bushings PKCP7000BU. There's not much else that turns like a Lumalite. It just peels off the blank like hot butter. I love turning it. What we're gonna do now is we're going to go after this with the micro mesh. You saw how clear this blank was when we started. When I get done micro meshing, it'll be just as crystal clear. It'll be gorgeous. So let's, uh, let's get done and take a look at how she looks when we're finished. Isn't it beautiful? Look how clear it is. You can just perfectly read every single letter. Let me get my buffing wheel on the lathe. We'll buff this up and we'll give it a real nice luster. We're ready to assemble the Second Amendment blank. And before we do, I want to take a look at one thing. This is the back to the bolt action pin. And this is where you take the bolt forward and you lock it into place in order to extend and retract your ink. One thing about this that I don't like is notice the bolt. It is pointing up. On every rifle that I've ever seen or used, the bolt points down. These particular kits, the Magnums, do allow you to rotate the bolt and that's what we're going to do. It takes a small Phillips screwdriver, and you see that little threaded uh, screw right down in there? You're just going to put your screwdriver inside of there, twist it a couple times. Don't About a turn and a half is all you need, and then you can rotate your bolt. You don't want to remove the screw. I've never done that, but I would imagine uh, as tiny as everything is, it would be difficult to put back together. I'm going to hold it into place. I'm just going to tighten the bolt down, or the screw down, I'm sorry. And now my bolt is more like the bolt on a rifle. We're gonna start our assembly with this piece right here. This piece allows you to thread the nib into the blank. And you'll notice it has a, a little bit of a line on it. This part of the 
of the grommet is tapered. And you want to put that into your blank first. Now we're going to put the blank like this so you can read it with the nib down. But you want to put the tapered part into the blank. Then we're going to put the blank into our pin press. Ooh, there we go. Almost lost that. Press it all the way in. And you can see the threads in there. That's going to allow us to thread that nib in when we're ready. Next up, what we want to do is we're going to take the, the back half of the pin. And I forgot to show you one thing. Whenever you reverse the bolt, now the gun is upside down. You can loosen the back or the primer on this back section and rotate your gun clip around. And you'll see there's a notch on this side so that you can, you just have to kind of adjust it into that little notch. There we go. Almost. Now I got it. And then tighten her down. That's much better. Now the gun or the rifle is on the opposite side of the bolt. And we're going to take this and we're going to press it into the opposite side of this blank. Now, what I'm going to do is try to fix this. Let me get my spring out of the way here. To where when it's laying on the desk, you can see the Second Amendment. And that lets me... I'm going to put my clip right through here. That way when it lays... It lays where I can read it. That's what I'm going after. Okay, we'll slide this into here. One more. All right. Get a hold of it here. And just press it right into place. Okay, very happy with that. Everything went smooth. Take a look at that. We have a beautiful fit right along the, the back half of the pin. Now when it lays on your desk, you're going to see the Second Amendment facing up. We'll take our ink refill. I'm going to look at the spring. This particular spring doesn't appear to have a larger or a smaller end, so it doesn't matter. We're just going to slide it onto the ink refill. We'll slide that into the nib, and then the nib threads right into that little grommet that we pressed into the front half of the pin. And you can see right there we go. We're able to eject and retract our ink. That is one awesome pin. Just take a look at that. I really hope you enjoyed the video today. I had a great time turning this pin. I'll show it to you one more time. I think it turned out fantastic. I'm really happy with it. I love the fit I got at the nib. I love the fit I got at the cap. I just think overall the pin turned out absolutely wonderful. I'd like to take a second to say thank you to Ron for sending this to me. And I'd like to let you know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon, everybody. Have a great evening and take care.